everybody. I hope you're all enjoying WebEx. 皆様改めまままましてここここんんにちはははかからののの時間会場にお集まりの皆さんと、会場をご覧の皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、皆さんと、
Olympus. Brilliant Crypto. From around the world, players gather in search of gems. Unearth gemstones and the fortune is yours. Their value is ascertained. Gemstones with the potential to cross metaverse worlds. And that's not all. Earn tokens from mining. Play and earn incentives. More players means rarer, shinier, and more valuable jewels. Here is where you generate new worth, and we all share the wealth through mining. A new world is dawning. Together, we will prosper. So get yourself a pickaxe, and it's off to the mines. With the scholarship system, anyone can borrow a pickaxe and take part. Find brilliant stones and trade them for tokens. Your gemstones will convert to NFTs, so trade them for crypto or hold them and watch their value increase. You can even use them in other metaverse worlds. Three facets of our gaming technology. Mining results are thoroughly unpredictable. Outcomes are uncontrollable by even us, the developers. Also, it's all reproducible by even you. A new AI-enhanced gaming experience. Decentralized operation. History generation. Fraud prevention. Here's the roadmap in three phases. Phase one, the mining site opens. Phase two, the lapidary workshop opens. Phase three, metaverse NFT jewelry introduction. Grab your pickaxe and let's go. Were you able to understand most of the contents? Some people might think that, are you really going to mine? Those are some of the comments. Uh, let me just uh, explain one by one. So I put three keywords on the page, which was also expressed in the top of the video. Web3, Metaverse, AI, those technologies are the ones that's getting a lot of attention. These three different technologies, I'm sure you all understand here, but those technologies are supplementing each other, and I hope that they will be creating the future of the human beings. Web3 is providing the decentralized system. AI, you know that uh, it's very, very powerful, also extremely useful for metaverse. AI can quickly create the world that we were never able to do before. And even for AI, metaverse is the very important place and also effective for them to be able to uh, express their capability. Um, so it, AI is not necessarily strong in the physical world, but if it, in the virtual world, AI is able to fully express the capability, which means that the three technologies uh, help each other and supplement each other for human beings to be able to bring us to the virtual world. Human beings are moving more and more to the virtual, and ultimately I am even thinking that we might be living in the virtual world. But exactly when it's going to be happening, is it going to be five years from now, ten years from now, we are not so sure. But when that happens, 
There is one thing I want to achieve. I'm sure all of you might be even thinking what you want to do. For example, the brand or what is considered to be real, you probably want to bring it to the virtual world. This is just an example. For example, the company Elmas create the handbag and enjoy that into the virtual world. Same thing can be said for Ferrari. You can enjoy that in the virtual world. And this can be well expected because it's a virtual world. If you want to drive a Ferrari car, as long as you have a model, um, anybody can ride. But is it good enough? Because you can copy and everybody can actually drive Ferrari. But of course, you want to enjoy the genuine uh, vehicle and you want to enjoy the realness. And that is the reason why you want to bring the real good product to the virtual world. So the proof of existence, the proof of presence, if you are in such an environment, this would work. But in the real world, there are things that nobody can prove that it exists. There are many things, and also at the same time, people value the existence, whether it's true or not. So this is a gemstone. You probably can see that coming from the video. So there are people who own, uh, as myself, wearing the ring, but there is no brand. It's because even before the uh, human beings was born, and those minerals already existed in the world. As an example, if you bring, want to bring the diamond to NFT, there is no real diamond. Of course, people can say that this is a diamond, but nobody's going to believe that. So, that means that the high jewelry brand is going to suffer because they would have to procure the diamond and they design the diamond and they sell it. But uh, the minute that the diamond value is being questioned, they are not able to create those products. We are right in the middle of going to the uh, virtual world. So these are the problems that could, we could possibly Face. So we aim to guarantee the value of digital gemstone. We want to be able to create that. We want to realize with the power of the game and AI. You might be wondering what I'm trying to get at or what I'm trying to explain, because you would probably think that who can possibly achieve that. As a matter of fact, there are things that is quite similar, very similar. Actually, even the look is very similar. You know them very well. It says a Bitcoin. So Bitcoin, even though it says coin, as you call it Bitcoin, basically uh, it was introduced as the coin, but uh, it is more often times used as a digital gold because of the value of the asset. So in comparison to gemstone, the gold, even though uh, it is a very precious metal, they are tangible versus non-tangible, but it's basically it's in in the same group. So if that's the case, we want to be able to create the digital gem, and it's similar to Bitcoin. So if we were to try to follow the same manner, we might be able to do so. That was the idea at the very beginning. Now, the Bitcoin, as some of you might be know, it's proof of work. It's the system uh, where the um, consensus algorithm, where it's been um, proved. There is a huge amount of hash algorithm uh, computing uh, that is going to be done, and then the transaction uh, is to be guaranteed, and as a result, 
the certain amount of Bitcoin is to be paid. It's very simple, but it's a very unique mining structure, which is the biggest uh, attractive element of the Bitcoin. Therefore, uh, we thought that this is exactly what we have to do. But as I said at the very early on, we would have to have a hash uh, calculation. Hash uh, calculation generate many different problems. Uh, they are put into those two categories uh, because we have to think of the computing. It's a very professional word. Uh, one individual is not going to be able to go in there. And because of that, uh, it actually uh, uses a very high energy. And it's not good for the environment. Ethereum uh, is now moved on to the voting system. So hash calculation itself can be a problem. By the way, I love Bitcoin. I have always loved Bitcoin. About 10 years ago, I was actually involved in mining. And at that time, I really enjoyed that because I was actually involved in a project and I was being of some use to other people. Uh, I had the feeling that I was trying to help uh, the computing and I was able to get some benefit, which I thought was extremely enjoyable. But somewhere along the line, I was no longer able to compete because of these two reasons. They were professional people uh, who were using a huge amount of uh, investment money, and one individual is not going to be able to compete. Then I thought this is a waste, because as I support the Bitcoin, mining is very, very important. It's very enjoyable, and I want to be able to take a part of that. As a result, uh, we were not able to participate, and I was very frustrated. And since that time, I was thinking what could be some other method for each individual to be able to participate. And when I thought of creating a digital gemstone, I remember my idea. Then proof of work, the hash part, can be replaced by the game. Then one individual can continue to enjoy mining. And that is exactly what I have been continued to say from the beginning. It's a proof of gaming. Uh, I hope that everybody is with me because I'm trying to explain something a little bit difficult. But to make it simple, uh, human beings are going into the virtual world. So what is in the physical world would have to be all brought to the digital, digital world. NFT can bring that, but NFT is not able to bring the mining or any gemstone. So we have to create that. And then for us to create something, similar things with the Bitcoin. So the gemstone Stone should be able to create just like the Bitcoin. And the hash algorithm or the computing can be a problem. So decided to replace by the game. And that is the proof of gaming. So I think many of you might be a specialist and you were thinking for 10 seconds and people think this is crazy. And these are the people who are very knowledgeable uh, because this is not going to be that easy. So because it's called proof of gaming, everything has to be very accurate. And that is maybe contradictory to gaming. So I probably thought about that for about a week because we want to be very strict and accurate, but how can we go about that? So, for example, if you take a gemstone and if the game provider uh, uh, is there, uh, he wouldn't, uh, the company wouldn't want uh, the stones to be created uh, freely. So, uh, it, like someone knows the answer to the uh, Bitcoin system, uh, because unless you do so, uh, you won't have the Bitcoin. You have to have the computing power in order to realize Bitcoin. So I thought about this, and it's on the right side. Mining from Bitcoin's block hash. That's the answer. 
So right now we have more and more bitcoins. It's increasing compared to, uh, to before, and we're going to use blockchain data itself. And I thought maybe that would be possible for us. So it's from uh, one to number three. Impossible to predict mining's results in advance. Results can be reproduced with open source logic. Developers have no control over their many results, even engineers, which means fraud will all not be possible. Unless the user uh, minds, uh, he won't able, be able to have the gems. So, uh, and when we are operating game, uh, we have uh, uh, pr parameter changes, but we don't want to do that. And we have good technology. And by using AI, uh, we all will be able to uh, have an operation which is decentralized in terms of managing gameplay. That's number four here. So using blockchain data, uh, we won't be able to uh, control. The user has to mine, and what the what is mined will remain as data forever. So that's the kind of world we're aiming for. So uh, I think a uh, detailed explanation will be written in white, white paper later, so please read that afterwards. But what I want to say is that so, oh, it's the bottom right, mining from Bitcoin's block hash. This is what is really meaningful. The Bitcoin system is something that uses most uh, computing power ever experienced by mankind, which is vast energy or power. And that itself is uh, meaningless because it's just a bunch of zeros. It's a hash calculation, but it's useful. And it's the it's using the highest power that mankind has ever experienced. And we're going to mine gemstones from there. So I think it's very difficult, but it's something that's really emotional and moving. I think it's really moving and impressive. So if you left, I think you are an engineer, you understand what I'm meaning. But this is what I like about this project the most. So the... Uh, uh, mine data will be based on the blockchain uh, data uh, system. And we're going to have uh, forever or, or everlasting brilliance. So, this is what I wanted to communicate for Proof of Gaming. And as you saw in uh, the title of this uh, lecture, I want to talk about sustainable uh, blockchain. Uh, Gaming, sustainable play to earn, rather. So on the left side is Bitcoin mining. On the right side is what we are suggesting, proof of gaming mining. So uh, you have the equal mark in the middle. So this is saying that it's uh, equivalent on both sides. So Bitcoins are based on hash calculations to offer proof of work. So we do gaming instead of that. So we will be so, oh, sort of proving the transaction. And as a reward, you're going to receive a Bitcoin on the left side, but on the right side, by doing games, you are going to create the gemstones that weren't there uh, before and receive a reward for that. So I think it's equal on both sides. Then, so, you would not say that uh, Bitcoin is like gambling, or it's not uh, real. Then, which means that a brilliant crypto block game uh, and gems uh, will not also be called that. I think there's a different way of explaining this, but it's how you create third-party value which leads to sustainable play to earn. So, because Bitcoin is like this, uh, we will be able to provide the similar thing uh, with brilliant crypto. So, uh, uh, I don't want to explain more even further because that might be criticizing other game providers. And uh, I just uh, cut out a certain aspect to explain to you. So, next, I would like to explain 
explain the roadmap. So probably early next year, if uh, possible, in February. And because it's gaming, it might be delayed, but we will first uh, launch the mining site. So the uh, Miners all around the world will start mining. But as you mine, you only get the stones, the gemstones, which you won't be able to use as itself. And in the next step, we're going to create a function to design jewelry. So we'll collect NFT to create NFT. Very interesting. You can also uh, decompose. Yeah, when it's going to be easy to use that way. So, well, of course, we have to have the trust of users for that. And in the metaverse world, you'll be able to deploy the NFT jewelry. That's our master plan. But to add, between one and two, there is a one point five. So we're not still uh, uh, yet in metaverse, but uh, we think that uh, it's really great to have uh, some kind of uh, work inside the metaverse. Uh, we haven't decided yet, but we have many ideas for that. And in phase four, uh, we're thinking of uh, the jewelry brands because they will be in uh, trouble uh, if they go into the virtual world. So they can use gemstones like rubies and emeralds so that the jewelry brands can create design products and sell. And that would be really a great success, maybe a marvelous success. But I think it's going to take five to ten years, but we will be working towards that. So I think I'm losing time now. <laughs> we do run out of time. So these are the global partners today. So you probably might be uh, curious. Uh, you saw the video. Is it really interesting? Is it really fun? Maybe you think that. So we are working together with these partners, and we did a closed alpha test. So we're going to release this product around the world. So it's not just for the Japanese. We don't want only the Japanese to think it's fun. We want everyone in the world to think it's fun. So we did it two months ago. So it's Polygon, Pointe, uh, We already announced this. And as game developer, it's the first time we are assessed, and we were very, very nervous. But as we did the alpha test, we received very positive results. This is Discord screen. Uh, and uh, people around the world said it was fun. They provided these rituals, and we took data uh, of their impressions. So, uh, this game says proof of work equals proof of gaming. Hash calculation is really difficult, and its gameplay to connect to that is also very difficult to develop. So uh, will they really be able to clear this difficult game? And 85% uh, of the people, the players, actually cleared it, reached the end. And they said it was interesting, and they said they would recommend so until now, I probably created more over 100 uh, games. And the, in the beta tests, we also always do user reviews, but it's very rare to have such positive results. There are many games that uh, were hits uh, that I made. I won't say many, but there are several that became hits. But at the timing of the alpha test, uh, it's the first time that I received such positive results, so I'm really impressed. That is the reason why I I am announcing this. Uh, we have been able to confirm the positive side of the game and the proof of gaming uh, is a philosophy that we have and I think it's going to work. And uh, at the uh, reason why this has been talked about in the keynote speech is because of this. This is my last page. So alpha test, closed situation was received very positively. So 
して Legendary Club Paris Saint Germain. Mind together. Grab your pickaxe now. ババシー王道もありがとうございましたまさに世界規模で非常に楽しみな発表だったかと存じますさあそれではお待ちかねでしょうかここでスペシャルゲストをお招きしたいと思いますパリ・サンジェルマンアジアパシフィック代表セバスチャン・バシェさん元パリ・サンジェルマン所属元カメルーン代表カメルーンレプレゼンティブミスターパトリック・エンボマン Please welcome them with a big round of applause Sebastian さん、エムボマーさん、本日はようこそお越しくださいました。Thank you so very much for coming, Sebastian and Bamba. Would you be able to introduce yourself briefly? それではまずはセバスチャンさんからお願いいたします。Starting from Mr. Sebastian, please. Hello, Konnichiwa, everybody.、Uh, my name is Sebastian Vazels, and I'm the managing director of Paris Saint-Germain in Asia Pacific. Merci. ありがとうございます。さあそれでは皆さん、話を聞かれたいと思います。I think everybody has been waiting for this moment, so we like to move on to the talk session. So I would also like to welcome Mr. Baba, CEO, for this talk session. So, Mr. Baba, so this is a very exciting partnership you have just announced, Paris Saint Germain, and working together. What is the vision that you are looking at now? So, Paris Saint Germain is a place with the 
many, many top players across the globe. And our target, which is South America or Europe or Southeast Asia, uh, the star players from these areas are all gathered. Uh, for example, if they are able to participate in the promotion, uh, they will be able to support our awareness of the names that we have. So we have a high expectation for their support. Thank you. Now, this is a very unexpected collaboration. Many of you have been quite surprised. I have a question to Sanjay Sebastian. So what is the background of this partnership? So the, the background of this partnership started when we met with Mr. Baba team. And it was last year. It was during our Japan tour last year. And they presented the, the group, the company, and, and this game, and the project. And this project seems uh, very ambitious, uh, extremely innovative, extremely creative. And that's value that uh, we share with uh, uh, Paris Saint-Germain. And so it was a, a natural fit for us. Um, so we continued the conversation uh, along the year to see how could we help each other to make this, uh, this game a real success because we truly believe that it's an amazing project. And so we decided to announce this partnership today together uh, during Paris Saint-Germain Japan Tour. And uh, yeah, we are very happy at the club to do such an uh, innovative partnership. And if I may add, yes, sure. thank Please you. Um, it, it was very natural also for Paris Saint-Germain because we were one of the first club in Europe um, really going into the gaming um, uh, universe. Uh, we were one of the first European club to have more than just a FIFA team. We went into several countries and we went into esports uh, collaborating with very uh, innovative games uh, to penetrate those markets, um, be closer to the gaming community. So for us, when Mr. Baba and his team presented us this amazing project, it seems so natural because we, we are one of the trailblazers uh, for the gaming promotion in European football. Thank you very much. Uh, so I have a question also to Sebastian San. So currently Paris Saint-Germain is going to be even more global. At the moment, uh, what are some of the global strategy that you have in your mind? Oh, um, Paris Saint-Germain project is, is very unique. Um, we are in the most popular sport in the world with football. Uh, we have uh, very famous players that are celebrities nowadays, uh, like known singers or known actors. And we are the only football club representing the city of Paris. 
And that is very unique uh, because most of the European club and most of the European cities uh, are represented by multiple clubs. And that gives us the opportunity to go beyond uh, just football uh, and go into other universes that are represented uh, in Paris, uh, that Paris embody, um, like fashion, lifestyle, gastronomy, uh, but also gaming. So we are a very different club uh, than, than, than any others. We go in other universes. Uh, that's why also a brand like Jordan decided to uh, do a very unique partnership with Paris Saint-Germain because we are more into this lifestyle brand strategy than others. And to get back to this partnership, or maybe you want to translate that first. <laughs> And we, for the markets that are very important to Mr. Baba and the development of the game, uh, we know that uh, South America and Asia uh, are on the top of the list. And, um, um, you know, it's, it's very exciting for us because we have such a large popularity uh, in Latin America, uh, thanks to the presence of uh, Neymar or um, the Brazil captain Marquinhos, but also, of course, with the presence of Lionel Messi with Paris Saint-Germain over the past two years. So we are very popular uh, in South America and we're gonna help as much as possible to promote the game. Um, and for Asia, which is another of your key markets, we also have a very strong presence with uh, you know, an office in Tokyo, an office in Shanghai, an office in Singapore. Uh, we have toured with the players the past four years in Asia. Uh, we have academies, so a lot of things on which we can uh, do a lot of promotion to promote the game at its maximum. Thank you very much. As Mr. Vessel said, uh, he's talked about how unique uh, Saint Germain is, and there are many fans of uh, Patrick Saint Germain in Japan too. So we'd like to ask uh, Mr. Patrick Mboma as a player. Before you probably know that uh, Patrick Saint Germain is uh, very popular in Europe and around the world, how do you feel? Um, so, uh, very important to uh, notice that, uh, and Sebastian said it uh, uh, before, but Paris Saint-Germain is a, a growing brand. Uh, this partnership uh, with, uh, with Brian Crypto is, sounds very good to me because 
we have two uh, universes uh, combinating. I imagine you have one side uh, the gaming uh, industry and the other side the, the, the sports industry. Altogether, uh, many uh, uh, things can come through, through, through that. You have the, the players, you can choose because of their strength, their cleverness, and you can maybe bring uh, gamers uh, to, to crypto uh, because of that. And uh, yes, there are a lot of things, uh, a lot of bridges that can uh, come, come through. I see it uh, unique and uh, really innovative. Uh, Paris has uh, uh, fans uh, throughout the world and in the markets where Brilliant Crypto is. So um, I'm looking forward to, to see what uh, will come through. But uh, once again, it's very uh, unique and innovative. And if I may add, our players are crazy gamers, so they're going to start mining very soon. I tr trust me on that. Thank you very much. Uh, we hope uh, that the players will contribute. We look forward to seeing them. So this would be the last theme for the Q, uh, for the talk session. For this partnership, uh, specifically, what are you going to do, uh, Mr. Baba, please? Yes, I will, go in, I will show the slide. And with uh, the help of Père Saint-Germain, uh, we are able to offer uh, pair VIP tickets to six pairs of uh, people. And these are the rewards for the people who clear the closed beta test. So thank you very much. That truly is the result of partnership between Paris Saint-Germain uh, because uh, they have been uh, one uh, of the uh, top European teams uh, in this uh, tournament, and there are 100 more than 100 million TV viewers uh, for such a tournament. And uh, Mr. Baba wanted it difficult to get such a pair of tickets. Yes, I really want to go myself, but I heard that uh, th these will be offered as rewards to the people who cleared the beta test. So please uh, join the closed beta test if you would like to uh, watch the tournament. Yes, uh, Paris Saint-Germain and Brilliant Crypto have uh, shown us their strong partnership. So uh, there will be six pairs of people who will be winning uh, the two VIP tickets each. So uh, they will be given the tickets and also the air uh, uh, tickets too. So to Mr. Mboma, uh, we would like to ask in the European uh, games, uh, you are very experienced from that, but what is the, what's the atmosphere and what is uh, the attractiveness of those games? You know, first of all, when you are a kid, uh, you, uh, dr you are dreaming about uh, uh, big performances. You are dreaming about becoming the, the next uh, generation, Neymar or Marquinhos. And uh, when you arrive at, uh, at the top level, it's just uh, amazing. Uh, you, you know how important to achieve, to achieve so uh, important goals. And you, you also know that uh, you have a great uh, attendance behind.
があるということなので、まあ、こういったプレイヤーがゴールを決めるという瞬間をあの皆さんに楽しめると思いますので、まあ、それをあの楽しみに目指していただければ Uh, he, it represents a, a, long, a, a lot, you know, but you have、uh, responsibilities、uh, because you have kids, you have、uh, big attendance、uh, ar around, you have people sh cheering you, and you represent uh, sometimes uh, a club.、Uh, when you are a Paris Saint Germain player, you represent、uh, a brand. So it's a very, very、uh, unique moment when you have the chance to play with、uh, high level. High level、uh, games. Thank you very much. Being able to see so close, this is something that's going to happen once in a lifetime. It's going to be a very precious moment. I do hope that you'll be able to quickly join this. The beta test、uh, registration method, please check the Bray and Crypt website, Twitter, or Discord. This completes the talk session. At the very end, I would like to announce one information. Hall E would have the Brilliant Crypt booth.、Uh, there is going to be introducing the contents of the game as the providing the novelty goods, so please check it out as you leave this room.、Uh, Mr. Baba and、uh, Sebastian San and Embermusan, thank you very much for your wonderful talk. Please send them out with a big round of applause. So, at the very end, we would like to have the photo session for the media people.、Uh, we will be having the staff members calling you. Please be patient until we get ready for the photo session. We will be starting the photo session.、Uh, for the media people, please come to the very front of this room. So, for the steel camera, for the movie camera,、uh, please come toward the front part of the room. We have two different patterns for the photo session. This is the first pattern of the photo session. Please look at the center. This is for the center camera. Please raise your hand if you,、uh, if you need to have people looking at your camera.
ちらでラストとさせていただきます。So、this is the end of the first pattern. The second pattern. 失礼いたしました。すみません。一パターン目でそのままムービーの方を。あ、そうです。そうです。ビデオ。This is for the movie cameras。ぜひ左手ムービーに目線をお願いいたします。Please look at the left to the movie cameras。Thank you very much. This is going to be the second pattern of the photo session. This is for the center, please. Let us know if you need any angles. Particular camera person can raise your hand. So this is for the movie cameras. This is back to the center again. Back to the center. So this is the end of the photo session, and thank you very much. Thank you very much. This concludes the stage. Thank you very much. お待たせいたしました。以上をもちましてこちらのステージ終了とさせていただきます。えメディアの皆様別会場にてババナルアツに加えまして、取締役の原井義明の2名の登壇者とともに、まあ、今回の発表会の質疑応答この後3時10分頃より開始予定です。え会場はガラス棟5階 G507 会議室になりますが、ご参加いただける方は会場を出られましたところにお集まりください。スタッフがご案内させていただきます。改めまして本日は持続可能なプレイツワンを実現する。新作ブロックチェーンゲーム発表会ご参加いただきまして誠にありがとうございました、えー、お忘れ物のないようにお気をつけてご移動くださいませ。<音楽>